Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. In today's episode, I'd like to show you how to install Toucan Studios plugins. Toucan Studios plugins is an excellent collection of JS plugins made by newcomer John Matthews. John has been a Cubase user for over 20 years and has just started using Reaper in September of 2021. In October of 2021, he started learning how to make plugins for Reaper, and the quality of the plugins that he has developed is absolutely outstanding. Let's take a look. Here we have the Toucan Studios plugin page on the Reaper forum. There's an option to visit the Reaper stash for more information on how to install and use the plugins. The method I'd like to use for today involves using Repack. If you don't have Repack installed, click the link above to learn how. Let's take a look at the plugin information page on the Reaper stash. Here we can see the repository listed that we'll need to import into Repack. I'll copy this link to the clipboard and open up Reaper. I've currently got a blank project open, and I'd like to start by going to Extensions, Repack, and Manage Repositories. In the Repository Manager, click Import Export and choose Import Repositories. I'll paste in the link that I copied from the Reaper stash and press OK. Now we can see that Toucan Studios is imported into Reaper. Click Browse Packages and in the filter type Toucan spelled T-U-K-A-N. Some of the options that we have are Something, which is a beta version of a summing plugin, a cleverly named compressor that in its German pronunciation is Distreasure, an MCP meter, several different compressors, tape saturation plugins, limiters, reverbs, and so on. I'll install just a few of these for demonstration, but feel free to install as many of these as you'd like and try them out in your own projects. I'll highlight MCP meter, NC76, LA1A, and tape. With these highlighted, I'll right click and choose Install Update Selection and press Apply. And within a matter of seconds, we can see from the dialog that Reaper has installed the selected plugins. I'll close out of these dialogs and open up a project to try these out. The project I've got open is a song called Whisper to a Scream by Johnny Locke. The multi-tracks for this project were downloaded from Cambridge Music Technology. Check the link in the description if you'd like to download and mix this track for yourself. Let's take a look at the MCP Meter plugin. I'll go to Effects on my Electric Guitar 1 track, search for Toucan, and here we can see the plugins that I installed before. I'll grab MCP Meter, and at first you can see the meter is not that attractive in and of itself. It's very functional though. I can hold shift and left click the dialog to change the value that zero represents in the VU meter. If you're one who likes to gain stage to minus 18, hold shift and left click until you see minus 18 in the lower right corner. Now that I've got this set to my liking, in the mix control panel, I can right click the plugin and select show embedded UI in MCP. Close the primary dialog and now we can see I have a meter embedded in my track. With this set for minus 18, if I'd like to use this for gain staging or just because I'd like to see meters in my tracks, I can hold control and left click and drag to place the same meter on other tracks. Let's take a listen and watch for activity on the meters here. No much emotion that I can't hold it by. Now as you can see, those electric guitar tracks are much hotter than minus 18. Let's take a look at the two tracks in question and turn down the gain for these clips to see how the meter responds. Now those tracks are gain staged to right around minus 18. I'll turn them back up to where I had them previously though, just because I liked it at that volume. So much emotion that I can't hold it by. Once again, I can hold shift and left click on the dialog to change the meter values. I'll take them back to the default and see what happens. So much emotion that I can't hold it by. You take the high road. Let's take a look at a few other plugins. I'll go to my drums track, open the effects dialog, and search for Toucan. NC76 is an 1176 style compressor. Let's try it out on the drums bus and see how it sounds. Typically, JS plugins are very spartan and no frills in appearance, but as you can tell, John has put a lot of effort into making the GUI for his plugins beautiful. I'll solo the drums track and let's play with this to see what it sounds like.
As you can see in here, Toucan Studio's plugins have a lot to offer Reaper. Be sure to check links in the description below to find Toucan Studio's plugins on the Reaper forum and on YouTube, as well as links to support John in his endeavors to create better plugins for us. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee, I like coffee. or Patreon link below. Join us on Discord to engage with other Reaper users. We'll see you next time. I like that logo. It reminds me of Toucan Sam from Fruit Loop Cereal. Dang it, now I want some cereal. I like cereal.